Whitney Thomas joins us in studio after speaking with people at the Little Rock Nine Monument. Whitney, there were people there to honor the late civil rights leader. Tell us about that. Absolutely. Well, guys, they were basically saying that they not only watched her go through her trials and tribulations, but also were rooting for the Little Rock Nine who were also going through the same things. And she was also just celebrating the 67th anniversary of desegregating Central High School. She is now the second from the Little Rock Nine to pass away. The loss of Little Rock Nine member Thelma Mothershed Ware is a major one in the capital city history. People in the community remember vividly the start of the Little Rock Nine's journey to desegregating Central High School. Every day at noon, we had a prayer for their safety and their life to be spared. Doris Thomas says Thelma Mothershed Ware's legacy will forever live. Remember she got married yes. and she's Thelma Mothershed Ware now. Doris's daughter, Vonda Thomas, a graduate of Central High, got a chance to meet Mother Shed Ware before her death. She was the eldest of the Little Rock Nine at that time. She was the oldest member and just a warm lady. Vonda says she admires Mother Shed Ware's and all of Little Rock Nine's ability to keep going beyond their daily adversity. But Mother Doris recalls it as a frightening time. It was very scary. Everybody was fearing for their lives because we had so many people to threats and everything, even in our homes. But it's something that Mother Shed Ware survived, and it's become her success story, one that will continue to impact generations to come. The legacy she leaves behind is just to always stay the course. No matter what it is, smile, grin, and bear it, and know that a better day is coming, and we've got to finish the fight. And of course, the monument is a place that everyone is open to visit in honor of keeping her name alive. All but two of the Little Rock Nine are still alive. Jefferson Thomas died in 2010. He was 67 years old. Reporting in studio, Whitney Thomas, Fox 16 News.